the timetable is something I suppose that creates a bit of a barrier for any type of intervention program. So what we've really tried to do is prioritise the tiered intervention groups and so that's something we've discussed as a whole staff and so if we prioritise it, it is first when we actually timetable subjects. Students will need to come out of classes from time to time that aren't literacy focused classes but we prioritise that knowing that the results that we can try and achieve through the literacy intervention will actually have a flow and effect to all other areas of the school. Students who are part of our Tier 2 Reading Intervention Program, which is called the Reading Acceleration Program, right for sure, they are not withdrawn from any other classes. Um, it's its own class that sits on the language line. In a high school setting, you're always constrained by the resources you have available to you, your human resources, funding, the number of trained staff and support staff that you can access and also the temperament and disposition and backgrounds of our learners. Our timetable is pretty flexible. We look at it each term and we move things around depending on where our different groups are. So if we've got some year sevens that might look a bit different to our year eight group. So we're pretty flexible uh, and we'll sit down with a group as we know that a group's emerging that needs some tier two intervention and we'll formulate a timetable plan from there. We don't want to take them out of things that they love, like we don't want to take them off the footy field for PE or out of tech where they experience some success. And we have had to be more flexible in that regard, so we've had to work with the kids and work with the context. We remove them from four different classes in a given week and we try and spread that load a little bit. So it's often out of one of their load subjects. It might be out of a science or a humanities or an English or a mathematics with the intention that we don't disrupt their whole program. We have an agreement with our staff because we have such great buy-in from everybody that our students, if they miss something because they are with us in intervention, they will not be asked to make it up or take it home as homework or be given extras to make up for what they've missed during that class. Class size is really important and support is really important. So we consciously decided we didn't want to withdraw students from class and with the number of students that needed the support, the literacy leadership decided that a class-based approach would be best to start with. Last year we ran with a model with uh, one teacher and one SSO with a RAP class of around 14 to 15 students. But this year we've trialled a different model in where we have a slightly bigger class of around 20 students give or take, but two RAP teachers in the room. Um, that way then more adults in the room, you can support more students, which we have found has been successful. If students are well below their reading age, they would work one-to-one -one with a teacher for two periods of time a week, two lots of 20 minutes, and that's called catch-up literacy. And then those students are assessed at least once a term. If I had my way, the students would be getting one hour on reading, spelling, maths every day of the week the way typical high school timetables structured, it's four hours per week. I wouldn't go any less. The students are receiving this intervention four times in the week, which is excellent for working memory. And then students who might need additional to that, we would then go through processes around looking at tier three work with them. We really wanted to have enough times per week where we were able to hit those kids with those particular supports. And so if we left it at one or two periods, we weren't going to be able to make the difference we wanted to see. That was something that we thought was really important to fight for, was this idea that we needed enough periods per week in order to actually make a difference. 